Remove the battery box cover. Remove the battery fixer. Insert the battery into the test bench. Connect the test bench terminals to the battery, observing the polarity. Secure the battery with the fixer. Close the cover of the battery box. Additional wires are supplied with the test bench to install the second battery. They must be connected to the appropriate sockets of the test bench observing the polarity. Check for proper battery polarity and connect the battery. To switch the test bench on, just press the green button on the front panel of the stand. The front control panel of the test bench includes Mode selection buttons, starter or alternator check, voltage regulator check, voltage selection 12 or 24 volts, voltage regulator communication protocol, chain and belt tension control buttons for securing the device. Terminals for connection to the outputs of alternators, starters, voltage regulators. To check the alternator, place it to the operating site and secure it with a chain. The test bench design provides for two types of belts, V-belt and poly-V-belt. Select the V-belt type. The belt is tightened automatically by pressing the button, while the tension should be checked manually. A suitable adapter should be used for more secure engagement with B plus of the alternator. Connect B- clamp to the alternator housing. B- clamp should be connected to the corresponding terminal of the adapter.
This particular alternator has a digital relay. Therefore, the relay must be connected to the GC socket of the test bench. Close the safety cover. Enter starter alternator testing mode. Select the appropriate protocol to check the alternator. In this mode the following parameters are displayed on the screen. Communication protocol with voltage regulator, alternator voltage, set voltage, load percentage, direct and alternating current, engine speed, voltage regulator errors. Complete the alternator testing by exiting the test mode. In order to test the voltage regulator separately from the alternator, connect the voltage regulator to the corresponding outputs of the test bench. Activate the appropriate test bench mode. Select the voltage of the regulator. In this mode, the following parameters will be displayed. Protocol of voltage regulator, regulator voltage output, set voltage, 
direct current value, voltage regulator load percentage, voltage regulator type and ID, voltage regulator errors. The test bench simulates real operation conditions of the voltage regulator on the alternator, set rotation speed, voltage and other parameters. To check a starter, it is necessary to fix it with the chain on the mounting face. Connect the negative terminal to the starter housing. To check the starting relay, connect terminal 50 to the starter control output. Don't connect plus terminal for checking the starting relay to avoid starting of the electric motor. Enter starter and alternator testing mode. To prevent a short circuit, the plus of the terminal should be placed on the table in a way to avoid its contact with the test bench. Start button activates the starting relay. To check the electric motor of the starter, connect plus terminal to the corresponding output of the starter. Starter DC and AC consumption values will be displayed during testing. Press Start button to activate the starter.
Upon completion of the diagnostics, exit the test and mode and turn the test bench power off.